Let's see how WebCenter Sites enables you to reuse content from Content and Experience Cloud Service. This includes using both digital assets and editorial content called content items. This feature is built into WebCenter Sites 12.2.1.3 release. This is WebCenter Sites' contributor UI. The page on the right is built with content from Content and Experience Cloud. Let's go ahead and edit the page to add more content. Under Content Cloud, you will see digital assets and editorial content grouped by their type. Let's add a banner image onto this page. This image is coming from Content and Experience Cloud. As you see, adding images is seamless, although it's not native to WebCenter sites. Let us save this page and see what else we have on the page. The articles here are coming from Content and Experience Cloud as well. Now let's switch over to Content and Experience Cloud to make a small modification to an article. Looks like the merger with mocktails will complete earlier than expected. So let us modify the article's body with this new information. Although you modify the article, the change won't appear in WebCenter sites or any consuming application unless you publish the change. So let's publish the article which is in the draft state. That's it. With the publish complete, the article's new version will be available to all the consuming applications. Let's go back and view the WebCenter sites page to find out if the changes appear. There we go. The changes appear immediately on the page without you having to do a thing in WebCenter sites. This shows the Content Hub capability of Content and Experience Cloud. Content can be centrally authored and delivered to multiple channels, thereby driving consistency in your messaging.